Hi again crafters, it's Cynthia. Um, today I'm going to make um, just a real simple little holiday card. Um, I wanted to play with a couple of different things so um, that's what was the inspiration behind this card. So the first thing that I did is um, just to kind of try it out. I had purchased some of the pattern paper files from Miss Kate Cuttables and um, this particular pattern is called the Tan Snowflake and it's from her Merry and Bright paper collection for 2016 and I think it's three dollars and ninety nine cents and you get probably about I think maybe 10 or 12 different patterns so um, it's really really nice and I don't know if you can see all of the lovely snowflake details but it's very pretty and in the collection there's a couple different um, background colors with the same snowflake so very pretty so um, I just cut this piece out of the paper and then rounded um, the edges and then I went ahead and uh, um, what am I trying to say I added my little ink um, the same frayed burlap that I like to use and I just went ahead and sponged all the edges and uh, I really like the way that looks so it gives it a nice finished edge so um, once I had printed off this paper and um, was so happy with it I thought perfect I'm gonna go ahead and use it um, for a simple card so um, what I did is I found this file in my silhouette studio it was part of the 100 free uh, cut files that I got when I first bought my silhouette so I went ahead and printed it on that pretty rose red paper that I've been using and that'll be the background piece and then this piece will sit on top with just a little bit of a reveal all the way around so let me get my little tape runner. Since this is small, I'm just going to go ahead and use this instead of my big ATG gun. I'm filming at night this time, so all of the light in the video is artificial, so we'll have to see how that looks when I'm all done. It should be okay, though. So settled into place and I uh, based these measurements um, on the fact that I was doing an A2 size card meaning it was going to be five and a half by four and a quarter as a card base so I just wanted to make sure that the red was slightly smaller than that and that this piece was even smaller than that so they're not like perfectly exact measurements um, but they're close enough so the other thing that I wanted to do was I took one of my cut files and this is the boy winter reindeer and it's also by Miss Kate and um, I went ahead and just on my screen I assembled all of the pieces um, in the cut file together and um, I picked out you know I picked some different colors and filled the pieces with each color and printed it off. I have a brand new Canon printer that I'm really excited about. So I used my Canon to print this paper and I used it also to print this. So it's so much better than my other little printer. So anyway, um, this piece I went ahead um, and trimmed out myself. I just left um, a little white edge around everything and just trimmed it out with my scissors and then I popped it up on some adhesive backed foam pieces and this is gray but it doesn't matter because it won't be seen anyway so he'll get attached about right here I wanted let's see I wanted his antlers to be sort of equally spread here and then of course that puts his body off to the side but that's fine so let me go ahead this time I'll just use my aqua glue because it was sitting right here. Alright, and then I also had um, 
see where my tweezers are. Here they are. Okay, I also had um, these little snowflakes, and um, this was from when I cut out my winter bird cut file. So I'm just going to go ahead and dot around the edges of that snowflake and just tap the middle here just to get bits of glue. And then this one I'm going to kind of put up in this corner. And this was cut with that same rose red paper. Like I said, I've been using it in different projects and it's just a beautiful, beautiful color. So I don't let, I don't let anything go to waste if I can help it. I always hang on to little pieces. Maybe someday I'll show you <laughs> my collection of little pieces. I have them in boxes and tins and containers and anything I can find. And they're loaded with little bits and pieces. And then um, the other thing I did, and honestly, um, I'm not as happy with this lettering as I as I intended to be. <laughs> um, so I'm still trying to figure out how to make my fonts um, sketch with my silhouette. So anyway, uh, trial and error. So this one isn't the prettiest, but it's done. So I'm going to go ahead and tuck this little piece in here and what I might do because it just looks so stark I think I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly edge this piece as well because that'll kind of help soften the look and then it'll tie in a little better hopefully with everything else So yeah, I just I just found a random font. Um, it wasn't a purchased font. It's just one of the fonts that come with your computer, and uh, I made it a certain size. And of course, I just wanted it to say Merry Christmas. So it's nothing fancy, but it just kind of printed funny for some reason. So oh well. Now I know not to use that font. <laughs> at least through my silhouette. Okay. I think that does look a lot better. Yeah, definitely. Okay, cool. That was an easy fix. Put that away. Okay. And I'm not going to pop up the sentiment. I think I want it to, um, you know, the only thing I want to stand out is this little guy. So, actually, I am going to glue this one as well. But I do have to show you something cool about how I created the flag end of this sentiment strip. Because I just um, printed the words onto a piece of thin cardstock and then cut out a one inch strip. Because I knew it couldn't be any, you know, any wider than an inch. And then I'll show you how I did the flag. Because I really like the flag ends, and I know that's certainly a very popular detail that like people like to add to things. So, um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to look up the name of this. I honestly don't recall what it is, but it is a Stampin' Up! Punch, and I got it pretty recently, probably within the last six months. So, um, I will look up the name of it so that you know. But here is um, just another sample one that I had made and um, it's about again an inch wide and this bottom uh, opening here is also about an inch wide so you can just push that in and then I always like to look at the back side and then here comes my paper 
and then once I have you know as much as I think I want to trim off I've got it sitting evenly spaced and then I'm just gonna punch and it knocks out that little piece and then look a flag end isn't that perfect so this is really good and you can I mean it has like I said the one inch and that's probably an inch and a half and that's probably two inches wide um, so if you have a pre-cut piece that is that size it'll slide right in there but even if you have something that isn't quite um, fitting in one of these things it's no problem you just tuck as long as it's thin enough to slide into the opening you just look at it from behind and watch your paper and then wherever you want to however deep you want to put your paper in and then you press it's going to give you that nice flag end so I love this thing <laughs> it was a good purchase and I get such neat um, oh great a hair um, I get such neat flags um, which is way better than me trying to hand cut it which I have done many many times and it's fine but it's always just a little off so anyway for my card base I'm gonna use my favorite which is my Nina solar white and this is the 80 pound weight and I like it it's a nice heavy weight um, for a card base so I know they have 110 pound as well which is also of course really nice but um, I kind of like the 80 pound myself so I'm gonna score it here at the four and a quarter mark and I'm using my Martha Stewart scoring tool which is perfect and um, for several years now I've strictly done cards so um, this size is nice for me I know it also comes in a larger uh, probably 12 12 inch size but this is all I needed and right now I don't anticipate needing more or a larger one all right so there is my card base and I'm gonna take my whole little panel here and I'm just gonna tape around the edges and like I said this card was just something I wanted to make because I was playing around with different files but you can never have too many Christmas cards on hand I don't think so let me get that generally centered that looks just fine press it down and there you go super super sweet little Christmas card ready to hand out to anyone and of course if you wanted to you could add a little bit of bling you know um, <laughs> I always like to make things sparkle so I'll probably I'll probably add a few touches of my wink of Stella pen or something so thank you again and you guys have a wonderful evening if you like this video please go ahead and click like and if you want to become a subscriber that would be awesome too so thank you guys and I'll see you all soon bye, -bye.